Hi everyone, I am Nick and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the micro USB ports on tablets and smartphones and I'm going to use this SMD workstation to do the job you have to set the hot air station at 350 degrees and maximum airflow and I'm going to use this nozzle to focus the heat on the USB connector because I do not want to heat everything up first I'm going to preheat the board and then focus the heat on the USB connector until the solder melts and then I'm going to remove the USB connector from the board let's start The solder is melted. This was the easy part. The next step is to remove the old lead free solder from the holes and from the pads. And to do that, I'm going to use this desoldering pump and this desoldering braid. adding low melt solder I'm going to use the desoldering pump on these two holes and I'm going to use the braid on these two holes to show both methods As you can see, using the pump is very easy to remove the solder. Now let's try the other method.
if you cannot remove the solder easy you can turn this around and try the same thing with the bread from the other side but I managed to clear the holes I'm going to clean the flux with IPA. I found a compatible USB port, but before I place it on the board, I'm going to add solder on these five pads here. The way to solder the USB connector on the board again is by heating it up with the hot air gun as I did before. Uh, I'm going to preheat the board, then I'm going to add a little flux and then heat the USB connector and gently push it down. start The solder is melted. The USB is now soldered. Only thing left to do is Solder it from the other side. clean it
I'm going to test the tablet to see if the USB port is working. Yep. Thanks for watching and see you next time.